All right, quick video. Um, I know the one I put up there yesterday was bad, but I just got off of work and want to put another one up. Waiting for these lights to come on so I can throw a T5 up there. I put it on here for light until I get the new ones. But the whole key with this tank is going to be the light. Just wait till you see next Saturday the lighting and the rig, how I'm going to do it. It's going to be uh, a lot of money, a uh, big hole in my pocket. All these wires will be straightened out and uh, everything's going to be protein skimmer will be running by then. But I got to do no, no sock. No uh, protein skimmer for 48 hours. We're about 24, 30 hours into that. So two little chromas are doing fine. They'll be fine. Doctor's Tim's, same thing I used over here in this tank. It looks the same every time I do a video. Don't clean the glass. But once a week when I do a water change, that's it. This, this tank stays with the sand like this. And I put my hand on the Bible that I have not vacuumed this sand or done anything in nine months since I put it up. That is just the way it is. 0, 0.00 on the Hannah Checker uh, phosphates. So uh, keeping it uh, very uh, lightly fed once a day. As you can tell by the fish, I just got home and look at the colors in them. I mean, they are uh, PE mysis. As you can see, everything's doing great. Um, these two new ones here, a tricolor ORA, which is beautiful. All the new growth is blue and an enchilada. Uh, the camera would freaking focus a little better, but anyway. Same rough as I used, same method, and I took the uh, uh, the chromus out of here when it cycled. If they, if I can't get them out, I gotta take a rock apart because I glued a lot of that down, I'm just gonna leave them in. So, uh, since Saturday it's been going on, um, let's see if this light will come on now. There we go. Uh, had to warm up a minute. But anyway, this is since Saturday been up. Today's Monday. So uh, after a week or so, we'll check it. But I usually let it run 30 days. And here's the plumbing everybody was asking. Okay. Herbie style. There's the main drain. Listen for a minute. Everybody, what? how I sleep at night. How do I sleep at night? There you go. Listen. This is the room. One little hum you can barely hear, but that pump's wide open. 1,500 gallons. Okay. 1,500 gallons an hour wide open. You can barely. There you go. Nothing. Anyway, that's the emergency drain. The emergency drain has to be out of the water just in case this plugs up. This one takes over. Uh, you still got quite a bit of distance, probably an inch or inch and a half before it flows over. So um, here's the... Uh, Sump. The water's just boiling out of here. It's uh, going to be, like I said, the wires will be straightened up. That's just a reflection of the wires in the back. Everything will be straightened up tight, uh, real tight with uh, zip ties in the back. Uh, no protein skimmer running, like I said, for 48 hours. Uh, no sock 48 hours. I did have a sock on here before I put the Dr. Tim's on just to clean up the floating debris from putting the sand in and the water. But once it cleared up, I took it off, and then I put the Dr. Tim's and uh, the Chromas. They look lost in there. This tank's so big. Uh, but uh, 48 inches long, 20 deep, 22, I believe, height. Um, so the lighting's going to be the really key. This one's coming down. Um, but just wait. It's going to be all SPS dominated. Hardly anything on the sand, if anything. It's going to be mainly... Fed, fed acro power and I'm not going to be doing anything that's going to be required mysis shrimp and feeding and making phosphates go up. This is going to be a forest of SPS. I'm talking 50 plus pieces. I've already got a good idea where I'm laying them out, but I want this thing to grow out of the water and look uh, years to come uh, a grow out SPS tank. Um, I'm a fan of those, always been. Uh, but this is one of my sweet builds, especially when I get the light on there and this, and uh, everything you'll see. The what I'm, well, it's, of course, going to be two lights, but you'll see what I'm going to do. It's just going to be a uh, hole in my pocket, but uh, I love the hobby. I'm just, I'm going to I'm going to go all out. So uh, next Saturday they'll be on there, and you'll see from there. But uh, if we're talking about phosphates, like we we're talking about over here, run I run in my sump, which I showed you guys last time. Kimmy Pier Blue and 
the Purigen is the other one that's pretty cleaps the water like this, man. I mean, come on. This speaks for itself. All right, peace out, everybody. Thanks for uh, subscribing, and uh, another video next uh, Saturday.